I'm feeling a really deep clench in my heart, my heart center. I've tried to make a video like 10 or 15 times today. And they all felt very forced. I think a theme of my last five or six months or so has been death. And almost like this, uh, this valley is uh, demanding that I, I speak so much more simple or direct, from a direct place. It's like that or no video. <laughs> it's like, she's like, ah, oh, you wanna make a video? And then speak from your direct experience. Yeah, so feeling a clench in the heart like some energy kind of pulsating, shaking through and releasing up here. It's like an enjoyment of, of just speaking from what's here. of just being with you. Feeling lots of energy now flowing. There's like a joy, like the clench in the heart is happy. I'm not like trying to move from it. That's what this valley has been teaching me more and more is to speak more precisely from my direct experience. There's a love here. A love for you. A love for this process that's taken me to right here and right now. A clear seeing that in this valley, if I'm trying to make the video I want to make, there's going to be discordant energy in that uh, dissonance, a force, a push. But if I really, really listen to her, it's like uh, I have to slow way down to to let to let allow myself to work with the energy where I live. And I can immediately feel when I get out ahead of it. And this works really beautiful in like diet spaces or in session containers. And so now I'm, I'm allowing that to come into this container, this YouTube container where I think that part of me that thought a YouTube video has to be a certain way has kind of been broken down.
And now even here, I'm letting this be guided by her, by this land. More energy just flowing <laughs> through the eyes. Sometimes I have to like blink a lot to kind of move it. Yeah, I feel more with her in this video than I have in the previous <laughs> God knows how many attempts. And there's like, there's this joy that keeps bubbling up. There's just joy of, oh, I'm not leaving her, the land, the land, and I'm not leaving myself, my heart. And they're actually one. The sacred land is, and my heart are actually one, I'm realizing. And I can live from here. I can, I can live from here. I don't have to leave here. Ever. To try to do something else or something, you know? And when I say leave here, I'm not even talking about the land, I'm talking about my own heart center. And this depth. And this rhythm. I don't have to, I think to leave here would be a performance actually. So like any, and any performer, performer has slowly ebbed away or it can be subtle too, because of course it's fallen away even before coming here a lot, but in an even deeper way, in a more subtle way, you could say performance is being seen through and, and let go of. Ooh, the performer, that feels so good to, to notice, like that performer. So innocent. It's like it just can't exist here anymore, it feels. And that's not to say videos can't be animated and expressive and they can't have different flavors and streams. But it, I can feel it in my own self, like, if I'm getting out ahead of the energy or if I'm pushing or forcing, that's, that's kind of, uh, that's an egoic layer of kind of like, you know what I mean? Whatever my hands are doing, it's kind of getting out ahead. It's like form moving without consciousness for its kind of own ends, which it never gets what it, it can never be satisfied though. Cause it's innately, um, uh, It's like a bottomless well, it can't never get enough. Even if it got what it thought it wanted, it would just need to do it again and get more and more. But staying right here is totally full. It's totally full. Infinite fulfillment staying right here. I can feel a tingling in the heart. It's like the heart's the the, the contraction in the heart is actually pulling me back into myself, capital S self, pulling me back into my being. It's, it's trying to say, hey, you don't need to do that. You don't need to leave anymore. Oh, that feels so good to say. It's like, you don't need to leave anymore. We're all so conditioned to leave ourself, our being, our heart, our truth. It's like, you can stay right here. You can make this video from here. And we can, and, and, and anything else, everything else. You get to stay in wholeness, in completeness. And there's just a yumminess about that. There's like a, a relief, a rest. There's a, my system's realizing in real time, wow, we can actually create an offering from, from here, 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 here. Like this is where I would rest when I'm holding space for another or a group. And now I'm learning I can move and create from here as well. And there was subtle, like I said, there was some subtle leavings from this place, thinking, and they needed to for some reason, you know, innocent. Very innocent. And, and from this place, there's just a joy of, of being here with you. I just love being with you. 
Like I love being right here with you. <sighs> so warmth there, tingling. More energy. <laughs> Lots of energy in this one. A little bit of a runny nose. It's getting cold here. The season's churning. Ah. <sighs> This is, I think, where we all yearn to connect from, this depth that I'm connecting with you from. It's where my system loves to connect, and, and it's almost like my system was saying, no, well, let's connect from here. It was almost like trying to say, no, we're not connecting. We don't need to. It's not as satisfying or something. It's, it's more empty. And almost like that part is a part that, like, it was still kind of hooked into like views or engagement. <sighs> Pushing. Accomplishment. But at, at what? Like at, at what cost, you know? To leave the deepest truth and when you start getting more immersed in the deepest truth in the depths of your being you realize there's nothing worth leaving it for what's that very famous quote um there's no price you could put on peace you know like peace isn't worth a billion dollars so i'm gonna offer you 10 trillion dollars and you'd pick peace once you've tasted it, of course. Maybe if you've never tasted peace, you'd say, I want the 10 trillion, but you'd only pick the 10 trillion because you think it'd bring you peace. <laughs> That's why very wealthy people go to monks and monasteries, and monks don't go to wealthy people. That's what someone said. Maybe a monk goes to a wealthy person. I don't know. But you get the... You get the pointing. Oh, I just love you guys so much. This has been really beautiful for sharing from this place with you. Um, my heart absolutely loves it. And that's a nice feeling because in the first 15 or something videos, who knows how many I tried to make today, my heart was not loving that. <laughs> and I had to keep stopping making the video because my heart was saying no, no. This isn't it. So this one's it. All right. This is this is how we learn. <laughs> what a day of learning for me. Okay. See you in the next one. Namaste.